Hi guys. In today's video, I will show you how to install Zabbix in CentOS 9 Stream. Zabbix will help us monitor our network devices, servers, or even end-user devices. I have here a set of commands for the whole installation process. Check on the given link in the description. Let's start. First, you let us check and install any available updates. No available updates to install so far. Then let us set our Selenux to permissive mode. That's it. Let's double check. All right, there we go. Let's have our Zabbix RPM package. And then remove cached packages. Now install Zabbix server, frontend, and agent. Now done. Let us install our MariaDB. Now we're gonna start it. And then let's check its status. Cool. Our MariaDB is running smoothly. Let us enable it. That's it. Now it must run its startup. And then, we will do some configuration. Just type in your root password. Here you decide if you're going to change your root password or not. Then we will select yes for the rest of the options. Now let us create a database. Then a database user and password. And then, let's grant the user we created to our database. And then we're going to import the initial schema and data. Now, let us update our Zabbix server configuration file. Let's look for the DB name. There it is. Then type in the name of the database we previously created. Next, we will look for DB user and password. We will use where to make it quick. Now let us save the file. 
The next thing we need to do is restart our Zabbix server and Zabbix agent. Let's check the status of the Zabbix server. Great! Our Zabbix server is in active mode. Let us enable both the server and the agent. Now that our Zabbix server is ready, let us allow the necessary protocols in our firewall. And then reload our firewall. Lastly, let us restart our HTTPD service. Check its status. It's working well so far. And then enable it. That's it guys. We have successfully installed Zabbix and all its requirements. Let's check our server's IP address and try accessing it on web. That's great! As of this time, Zabbix 7.0 is the latest version. Let us proceed in setting up some initial configuration. Input your preferred server name. Let's try changing the theme. Zabbix default user is admin. And the password is Zabbix. That's all guys. Our Zabbix server is now ready to use. I hope this video would help you. In our next video, we will try to register an end device. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.